Hi, Arnie here, and today we're going to do a video on rotation and perspective. So I brought in a background, and I'm first going to explain to you about the X, Y, and Z or Z axis. So the X axis is the horizontal axis, the Y axis is the vertical axis, and the Z axis is the axis that goes into the page and out of the page. So we're looking at it face on. So I brought in a video here of one of my uh, tutorials. Okay, normally we look at this straight on, but let's have a little fun here and change some of the perspective and rotation, which has a very interesting effect. So let's look over here at the rotation section. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the Z rotation, which is the standard rotation that we're used to. For the X rotation, we rotate around the X or horizontal axis. And for the Y rotation, we rotate around the Y or vertical axis, like so. Now as you can see, it goes right into the page. And as we move it around, what you'll notice that's interesting is that we can actually have it reverse and we can see the video from behind. Okay, so let's just set that back to zero. Now something else uh, that we have here is called 3D perspective. Now that doesn't occur when we're using the Z axis, but when you rotate with the Y or X axis, so you'll see what happens is there's a very large perspective here where it looks like it's going right into the screen. Now as we uh, reduce the 3D perspective, it actually flattens out that perspective. So 100% is the most perspective. Okay, let's just set these back to zero, and let's see if we can uh, do some interesting animation with this. Okay, so again, I have a background, and we're going to take this video now, and we're going to have, uh, add an entry to it. Okay, so let's go to the slide in, and let's use the uh, back slide left. Okay, now we're going to have it do a few things. First, I'm just going to shut off the uh, fade. And we're going to add some custom animation. Okay, and here we're going to use the rotation. And so we're going to have it come in, slide in, and then we're going to have it rotate using the Y rotation. Okay, let's add another animation here. And this time we're going to do some rotate, and we're going to add a bit of scale, and I always like to add position into that as well in case we, we move it a little bit. Okay, and we'll go to the end of the animation, and let's reduce that Y rotation a bit. And we're going to increase the size a little bit and center that as best we can there. That's good. Okay, and let's add another animation here. Okay, this time we're going to use position and rotation again, and this time we're going to reduce the Y rotation back to zero and now add some X rotation. Okay, we're going to make it negative here so it tilts downwards into the screen, or rather back into the screen. Okay, we'll add just one more here. And we'll just increase the scale and position here and bring the video a little bit down and out towards us. Okay, that looks good there. Okay, so now when we play it, you see we have a very interesting effect with our video. 
experiment with it, have lots of fun with it. You can do lots of very interesting effects, and I hope you enjoyed that. And happy creating! Music